98 years ago, California played a pivotal role in a national presidential campaign. In 1916, as President Woodrow Wilson sought re-election, it boiled down to what would happen in California. California's electoral votes would tip the, tip the ballot either way. And what happened in California depending on returns from two very small rural counties. And when those small rural counties finally reported, Woodrow Wilson got California's electoral votes, he won re-election to the presidency, and the course of history was therefore changed. Something like that's happening again in California, although on a very much minor scale. That is that the race between two Democratic candidates for state controller, which one gets on the ballot in November, boils down to the votes in Lake County, a very lightly populated county in Northern California. The election is very close. Only a few hundred votes separate John Perez and Betty Yee, with Yee is slightly ahead. And Lake County's votes all haven't been counted. There are about 6,000 votes there still to be counted. So what happens in Lake County will determine the fates of these two politicians, both of whom have statewide ambitions. It may be not 1916, and it's not a presidential election. For politicians in California, it's a fascinating sort of scenario.